Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet this pig. You'll need two different pinks, a light pink for the body and the head and the darker pink for the snout and the inner ears, white for the outer eyes and black for the inner eyes and the trotters. You'll also need scissors, a crochet hook, darning and sewing needle and I use sewing thread to stitch my pig together but you could use the your cotton if you prefer. Now I'm going to start with the head and a magic loop. Into the magic loop I work three chain and 14 double crochet. And then I pull the loop tight and slip stitch in the third chain. For row two I work three chain and work a double crochet in the same place as a chain. And then I work two double crochet into each stitch around. So I'll continue on around the row and I'll meet you at the end. And we join with a slip stitch in the third chain. For row three, we start with three chain and one double crochet into the same place as a chain. Now we work one double crochet into each of the next two stitches and then two double crochet into the following stitch. We do that five times. So one double crochet into each of the next two stitches and two double crochet into the following stitch five times. Now we work one treble and one double treble into the next stitch.
to double treble into the following stitch and then a double treble and a treble into the stitch after Now we work one double crochet into the next stitch and two double crochet into the following stitch three times. So one double crochet into the next stitch and then two double crochet into the following stitch three times. And now one double crochet into the next stitch. Now we're going to shape the next cheek. So we work one treble and one double treble into the next stitch. Then two double treble into the next. A double treble and a treble into the next stitch. Then a double crochet in the last stitch. And we join with a slip stitch into the third chain. And that's the head. Now we don't fasten off, but we're going to start with the ear. I'll pull that out a bit and I join my darker pink one stitch, miss one stitch and then into the next stitch. And I work one chain. And I work one single crochet into the same place as the chain. And then one single crochet into each of the next two stitches. And then one chain and turn and I work one single crochet into each stitch. So I'll have three single crochet and the one chain. For row three I work one chain and turn and I work a decreased single crochet into the first and second stitch. And then a single crochet into the last stitch and then one chain and turn and I work a decreased single crochet over both stitches and fasten off. And that's your first ear. And now I'm going to work um, half double crochet around the ear.
I'll probably normally finish off my endings first, it would just make it a bit easier. And then slip stitch into the top of the head and fasten off. For the second ear I miss 11 stitches. And join my darker pink. I work one chain, a single crochet in the same place and a single crochet into the next two stitches and then I work one chain and turn and a single crochet into each stitch. For row three I work a single crochet, a one chain, a single crochet into the first stitch and then a decrease single crochet into the next two stitches and then one chain and turn and a decrease single crochet over both stitches. and fasten off. This time I'll finish off my endings before I do round the other ear. Now, for my row round the second ear I join my lighter pink cotton one stitch above the, the ear and then I just work the half double crochet around. and slip stitch into the, the head and fasten off. And that's the pig's head done. For the body we start with seven chain And we work four double crochet into the fourth chain from the hook. And then one double crochet into each of the next two chain.
Now six double crochet into the last chain. Now we work one double crochet into the back of each of the two chain. And then a double crochet into the first stitch where we work the first four double crochet and then we join in the top of the chain and we've got a little oval. For row two we start with three chain and work one double crochet in the same place and then we work two double crochet into each of the next four stitches. And now one double crochet into each of the next two stitches. And two double crochet into each of the next six stitches. And then one double crochet into each of the next two stitches. And then two double crochet into each stitch to the end. And join with a slip stitch into the third chain. For row three we start with three chain and work one treble into the same place as the three chain. Now we work one treble into the next stitch and two treble into the following stitch three times. So one treble into the next stitch and two treble into the following stitch three times.
Now we work one treble into the next stitch. And one treble and one double crochet into the following stitch. Now we work one double crochet into each of the next four stitches. Now one double crochet and one treble into the next. And now we work one treble into the next stitch and two treble into the following stitch three times. So one treble into the next stitch and two treble into the following stitch three times. Now one treble into the next stitch and into the following stitch we work one treble and one double crochet. And now we work one double crochet into each stitch to the end. And slip stitch into the third chain. For row 4 we start with 3 chain and we work 1 double crochet into the next stitch. Now we work 2 treble into each of the next 3 stitches. One treble into the next stitch, two treble into the following stitch, one treble into the next. And now two treble into each of the next three stitches.
Now we work one double crochet into each of the next 10 stitches. Now we work two treble into each of the next three stitches. One treble in the next stitch. Two treble into the following stitch. Then we work a one treble. Now into the next three stitches we work two treble into each. And now we work one double crochet into each stitch to the end of the row. and join with a slip stitch. And that's the pig's body done. I'll fasten that one off. Now for the snout I'm using the darker pink and I start with a magic loop. I work one chain, two single crochet, two double crochet, three single crochet, two double crochet, one single crochet and then pull the loop tight and join with a slip stitch in the first chain. And fasten that one off. I'll just pull it a bit tighter. 
and that's the snout. For the outer eyes, I make two. I start with a magic loop and one chain and work one single crochet, one half double crochet, one single crochet, one half double crochet, pull the loop tight, and slip stitch into the chain. And that's the outer eye. I'll fasten it off. For the inner eye, I start with a magic loop and work one chain and two single crochet. Pull the loop tight and then I slip stitch into the chain. And I've got a tiny little circle. And I fasten that off. I make two. Now for the front left leg, I start with a magic loop and work three chain. and then work four double crochet into the circle. Now I pull the circle tight but I don't join. Now I work three chain and turn and I work one double crochet into each stitch. For row three, I work three chain and turn and work one double crochet into each stitch again. For row 4 I work 3 chain and turn and I work a decrease double crochet over the first 2 stitches. And then I work 1 double crochet into each stitch to the end. and fasten off. And that's the front left leg. For the back left leg I make a magic loop and work three chain and work five double crochet into the circle.
For row 2 I start with 3 chain and turn and I work a double crochet in the same place as the chain. I work one double crochet into each of the next two stitches and then two double crochet into each of the following two stitches. For row 3 I start with 3 chain and work a turn and I work a decreased double crochet in the first two stitches. I work one double crochet into each stitch to the last two and work a decreased double crochet over the last two stitches. For row 4 I work 3 chain and turn and I work a decreased double crochet over the first two stitches. And then one chain and a decreased double crochet over the last two stitches. And then for row 5 I work 3 chain and work 1 double crochet into each stitch. And fasten off. Now I'll finish off my endings and we'll put the face together and stitch on the the head and then we'll work the tail and the others onto the body once the head's on and the legs are on. Now first I'm going to stitch the inner eyes to the outer eyes so they just go down the bottom just like that. That one doesn't want to stay on. Just like that, I'll stitch them on and I'll also put the little black markings on to the snout and I'll come back. Now I'll stitch the snout on, it just goes, just the top goes just onto the circle, centre circle, and the eyes go just either side of the snout with the black facing down. And I'll also stitch in my mouth and then I'll be back. Now I'll finish the face. Now I'll stitch the head onto the body about there. The back leg, the little lumpy bit goes to the back and it goes just in there. I'll crochet on the trotters when I've got them stitched on and the front leg goes just about there so I've got room to put in the, the other the back leg. I'll have um, the pattern on my website with close-up photos of the placement. The details of my website will be in the description below. So I'll get these stitched on and I'll be back. For the front right leg, we join about five stitches up from the other front leg. 
So in here, and start with four chain. Into the next stitch work, one double crochet, and then one half double crochet into the following stitch. And then one single crochet into the next stitch. And work three chain and turn. And now work one double crochet into each stitch. and then fasten off. For the back right leg, just join in between the two legs. and work two chain, one half double crochet in the same place as the chain, and then two half double crochet into the next stitch. And fasten off. And that's the four legs done. The trotters are all worked the same. So I'll show you on these two and then I'll do the others once I've finished off my endings. So we join our yarn at the side in our last stitch and work three chain into the next stitch we work one half double crochet and then a single crochet in the same place A half double crochet into the next stitch and into the top of the three chain we work one double crochet and fasten off. So we join our yarn into the last stitch work three chain a half double crochet into the next stitch A single crochet into the same place, a half double crochet and then a double crochet and fasten off. the tail we just join about halfway between where the leg meets and the head just on that curve
and work 12 chain. We miss the first stitch and work a slip stitch in each other stitch to the end. I apologise for dropping things. We've been having very bad weather, which is very bad for arthritis, so I keep dropping my hook and the scissors. It also hasn't been good for the light. And then we slip stitch into the body when we've slip stitched on all our chain. and fasten off. I'll finish off my endings and I'll work the trotters on the other two feet and then I'll come back and we'll curl the tail. Now there's a pig finished except for the tail. To curl the tail you just Bring it round like that and just sew in under. and finish off. And there's your pig. If you like my videos, please subscribe, like and share. I'm also on Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. The details are in the description below. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.